Hey there! With the release of East vs. Trails in the Sky Alternative Saga, we figured we'd create this little guide to help you with installing the patch proper, plus other goodies available on launch. This guide will take you through the patching process, as well as setting up PPSSPP, our recommended emulator for the game. To start, you'll need to acquire a copy of East vs. Trails and rip it to your machine. We can't delve too deeply into this for various reasons. We trust you to do your research and support the official release whenever possible. The game is available on the Japanese PlayStation Store for around 30 US dollars. You can also track down a physical copy from sites like Amazon and eBay. To download the patch, navigate to geofront.esterio.net, then click East vs. Trails in the Sky from the Games dropdown. Next, follow the links in the download section to copy the patch to your machine. Your game file should be in .iso format, with a rough file size of 1.25 gigabytes. You may have to do some extra steps to convert your file to ISO depending on the source of your game rip. Again, that's a bit out of our wheelhouse, so we can't really cover it here. Before you patch, we highly recommend creating a backup of your image file, just in case you come across an error in the patching process. Once you've opened the patching program, select your image file and then click Patch. The program will prompt you to save your image file, so go ahead and put it wherever you want. With that, your game is ready to play. If you've already set up your platform of choice, then you're good to go and you can close this guide. You can also download Chuji's PPSSPP Suite, which has all of this set up for you. It does come with a complete save file, so if you want to play the game on a fresh save, you'll need to move or delete the provided file. All of these resources can be found in the description below. As of this video, we recommend the newest release of PPSSPP, version 1.12. This release features full multiplayer support for East vs. Trails, and fixes a few lingering performance issues from version 1.11. The game itself is pretty straightforward to run, you'll just need to change a setting or two to circumvent some graphical issues. In Settings then Graphics, you can either disable buffered rendering, or set your rendering backend to OpenGL or Vulkan. Though PPSSPP does support online netplay, the game's ad hoc based netcode is slow and unsuited for long distance play. For the best multiplayer experience, we recommend configuring four instances of PPSSPP locally and inviting friends to play on your machine via Parsec. Chuji's suite is set up for this out of the box, so if you don't want to finagle with settings, then you can download it from the description below. If you want to set up netplay yourself, here are the settings you'll need to configure. Go to Settings, then Network, and enable networking slash WLAN. Randomize your MAC address by clicking on it. Every instance of PPSSPP needs a unique MAC address or they'll conflict with each other. Decide on a WLAN channel and make sure it's the same for all instances. Enable both the built-in Pro Ad Hoc Server and UPnP. Your machine can host an ad hoc server on its local network, which is 127.0.0.1 so anything within that IP address will work. I recommend something like 127.0.0.5, for example, to avoid conflicting with any other programs you might have running. Every instance of PPSSPP will need a unique IP address, just like with MAC addresses, so I recommend something like 5, 6, 7, and 8, for example. Next, you'll want to make sure every instance has the same port offset. Now, in Settings, then System, Make sure your PSP model is set to PSP2000 3000. This is also where you can change your in-game name. With that, your instance is set up for multiplayer. All that's left is to lather, rinse, and repeat for the remaining three instances. The HD Texture Pack touches up a variety of textures in-game, from portraits to UI elements. Physical consoles don't support this feature, but PPSSPP does allow you to sideload the texture pack and remaster your game on the fly. First, download the HD Texture Pack, then extract its contents. To install the Texture Pack to your system, navigate to PPSSPP's base directory, then Memstick, then PSP, then Textures. If there are no folders with such names, go ahead and create them. From here, copy the contents of the Texture Pack into your emulator's texture folder. Those are all the files you'll need. Now you just need to configure PPSSPP to read them. To enable texture replacement in PPSSPP, Go to your Settings, Tools, then Developer Tools. Scroll down to Texture Replacement, then tick the Replace Textures box. Since these textures are higher fidelity than the PSP's base resolution, you'll also need to go into your Graphics Settings and increase the rendering resolution to at least 2 times PSP. 
You can also upscale the textures to two times PSP or higher if you'd like to. Now your game and emulator are all set. We hope you enjoy your time with East vs. Trails in the Sky. If you need further support or have any other questions about the project, feel free to stop by the Geofront Discord server. We'll be happy to see you both there and in the boundless world of Xanadu. Have fun!